Antrim ran out to a terrific noise for the first game of three on All-Ireland Finals Day in Croke Park. Their opponents, Louth, were already in a huddle and in very determined mood. Well, I mean, this is what we're involved in Gaelic football all our lives for. It's a wonderful opportunity for our players. But I sense a wee bit of nervousness uh, in the camp this morning. But I think that's a good thing. You know, they're coming in here. There's a, there's a certain level of confidence, OK, to feel they can do it. Uh, and with that wee bit of nervousness. So I think, you know, all in all, I'm very happy with the way preparations have gone. The mood in the camp is good. So hopefully it'll all come right on the day. Uh, Nerve-wracking, uh, enjoyable and hopefully the results is good. <laughs> We've got a good lot of Huntington support, so we don't want to let them down. We're here to win the match. It's as simple as that, Gerald. We want to win the match. Brian's team got that message and arguably had the game won early, thanks to two quick-fire goals. The first when a penalty was awarded and the Louth goalkeeper was sin-binned. Her replacement was unable to stop a cool finish by Kirsty McGuinness and when the captain set up a second goal soon after, there was no way back. Those first two goals, you know, we were so lucky and I, I really believed if we got a good start over Louth that that was going to be the key because I think Louth, Louth have been so dominant in the last few games and they've sort of got good starts on teams and I sort of thought if we got a good start on them then I wasn't sure how they were going to be able to cope with that so I really thought if we got a bit of confidence up that we would it would really push us on and thankfully it did. Just before the end, the manager allowed himself an early celebration. He knew it was over, though he also knew it hadn't been easy. Very draining, Gerald, I have to say. Absolutely drained. Uh, hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. I didn't sleep well last night, but hopefully I'll have a good night's sleep tonight. Did you dream about winning the All-Ireland in Croke Park because it's just come true? I just pictured them walking up the steps to get the cup, and I tell you what, Seeing it in real life, it's something else, something else, definitely is. It's honestly something that I've dreamt of as, as a young girl, and like standing up and lifting that cup, like watching Michael Murphy do it a few weeks ago, and it's just, it's, um, I can't even put it into words, like what an incredible feeling it was, you know, and it'll, it'll always stay with me, and it, oh, it was just fantastic. Great support team. Yeah, like the Saffron's always come out, like, and... I think I'm just so glad that we give them something to shout about because and they they were brilliant when you're running up the pitch, you know, when you do hear them and even one of my one of my PE teachers was over on the other the far corner and I could hear him shouting and shouting at me and like you know it really spurs you on when you know that there's people there supporting you and it was just fantastic. So.